In today's episode, we are gonna talk about how to import and export data freely by USB flash disk. Now, let's start with data export. You can export the raw data, coordinates, and codes when finishing the job. Insert USB flash disk. Press Escape in Observation page. F3 Memory to enter the memory management. If you want to export the raw data, press one project file. Press the third one, Export Measure File, then F to Low to select a measure file, for example, Job 1. Press F for OK or enter to export the data by USB flash disk. The raw data, for example, CSV, TXT, or SDR, will be saved in your flash disk. Let's check the files in USB stick. There are three files in SDR33 format, which can be opened by Notebook or Excel. Next, let's go to the coordinates export. Press the second one, known data, then select export coordinate data. Press F to load to select a file, then press F for OK or enter to confirm. Coordinates in SDR33 format will be saved in USB flash disk automatically. Let's check the exported coordinates in USB flash disk. Next, I will show you how to export these codes. Press the third one, P code, then let's go for export. The codes will be saved in DXT format. The second part for today's video tutorial is data import. Before our work gets started, we can import the coordinates and codes to access one total station by USB flash disk. The coordinates should save in TXT, CSV, or SDR. Here we got a data sample. Point ID then comes with north, east, zenith coordinate and code. Press escape in observation page, then F3 memory. Select the first or second, then we can click import coordinate data. We've got so many jobs in Access 1. Let's select one of them as an example. The imported coordinates will be saved here. Select the file from USB flash disk, press enter. Here, we can see the coordinates are successfully imported. Finally, let's do the exercise of importing codes. The codes can be imported under TXT and CSV format, for example, river, house, building, without any mark or any numbers. Copy this file into the root directory. Press 3 P-code, then select Import P-code. In Access 1, the codes are shared and can be called in any project. Here we can check the imported codes. That's all for today. Hope this tutorial made you easier when using Access 1 Total Station. Thanks for watching.